All righty. Uh, we've got, uh, did you hear that the website is down again? The <laughs> the Obamacare website. And who would have? Who would have seen this coming? I didn't. I really. What? No, they've got the best and the brightest. I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's fixed now. I think. Are we right? day thirty or are we day twenty nine? America held hostage. Remember that? That's all they. That's all they were saying when we we shut down the uh, we shut down the government. Ted Cruz. Day fourteen. America held hostage by extremists who just want to do crazy things like delay health care until we know it will work. <laughs> what about the what about the clock? I had one on TV last night. I want to get can you get that clock and I want it on the radio show. I want it right. I'm trying to put it right here. Right by the gra- where the grass is. I want that clock on the set the whole time. How many how many days has America gone without a functioning website? This time they're blaming it on Verizon. It's funny, we, we were not exactly positive on this program as, yeah. as it was de- uh, debated and developed. We um, weren't this pessimistic. And honestly, I, I never dreamed that they couldn't come up with a website that would actually allow people to the buy the crappy insurance. The website was the least of my worries. <laughs> I really thought, I mean, they seem to have put together websites where Mickey Mouse can send money in. I thought for sure, well, if they can make Mickey Mouse be able to donate to the campaign, they can surely get Mickey Mouse credit uh, or health care. No, no, they can't. The website is, this isn't 1985. It's not like we're using MS-DOS. Uh, you can fax in your application, though. That's fine. Just as, really? Yeah, you can fax it in. You can call it in. I believe you can Morse we're code going, it in. We're going for Pony mm-hmm. Express soon. <laughs> really? Yeah, there will be a 12-year-old kid on a horse that stops by your house to pick it up. <laughs> these, are the be- these are the best and the brightest. These are the guys who are telling us that the future is, oh, the future is so bright. Future is so bright, and because of all this technology, and look, we've got, we've got Schmidt down the, the, right in the next office right over here. Google's in the basement right now building barges that we're not going to talk about. We don't know what they are. But did I say barges out loud? I didn't mean to say barges, so Google's going to destroy my life now. <laughs> anyway, they're in the basement of the White House right now. They're fixing everything. They got it all under control. We have the best and the brightest. Uh, I just want to point out your website hasn't worked for 30 days. Well, that's Verizon. <laughs> now, think about how Verizon feels. Verizon is... They, you know they went... Wait a minute, we just gave them the back door. We just gave them all of our customers' information. We just gave them everything because they said they were going to play ball with us and they wouldn't throw us under the bus. And what the hell is that all about? These guys will blame everybody but yeah. themselves. And and they had those guys in front of them the other day at the hearing, and none of them threw the administration under the bus. They were all, Of course not. They were all complicit with the, with the administration. Everything's fine. This is all normal. We have these kinds of problems. This too, is in all the private normal. Sector. Can you imagine? We would not be in business no. if our oh website gosh. worked like that. Oh my gosh! Well, we were talking. They said they had 19 million visitors. We probably have 19 or 20 million visitors this month, right? At about yeah. the same time we'll about period. 20 million. Yeah. And it never goes down. Never there's, goes down. There's never a problem with the blaze, and uh, and yet they can't get this thing rolling. So that people can sign up for the for the program. Can they you imagine must have. how fast how fast would you fire somebody in the private sector if you mm-hmm. couldn't develop a website designed to take people's money mm-hmm. and you couldn't get that part of it? Because that's the part of it that's not working. Yeah, we can't take we can't get you signed up. Yeah, but don't worry about that because you can also call in, and then you know what happens when they call in their information? It's entered into the website. We found that out. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's entered in the it's entered in the website. What the problem is is that you right now, if you call, you have to wait one or two weeks. They'll take your information, and then you have to call back in one to three weeks. Yeah, and it all goes into the same the same place. And they found a lot of people are having trouble. Actually, thought that they did successfully complete an application uh, are finding out now that that information was lost or it was transmitted to the Mm -hmm. insurance company improperly. And it'll be like the IRS. Mm -hmm. And if you can't prove mm-hmm. that you did it, you'll be like, I, but I did. I did do it. 
I do like spooks. I do like spooks. I do, I do, I do. I feel like the cowardly lion from Wizard of Oz. I do, I do, I do. I did enter my information. I did, I did, I did. Please, witch, don't come and take me away with your flying monkeys. That's exactly what's going to happen, just like the IRS. You'll have to prove that you were in compliance. And you say, I, but I did sign up. And you'll have to pay the penalty anyway. You'll pay the penalty. I mean, it is it is the worst system I have ever, ever seen. But the good news is, the good news is, it's the law of the land. So do it. Comply or else.